I thought Drexel played great tonight. Um, you know, they always take away what we do well, our inside game. And Janine Aldridge and Denise always does a fantastic job um, playing us. But we couldn't put the ball in the basket, and it spiraled from there. But I give all the credit to Drexel. I thought their kids played great. They showed up, and, and we struggled um, horribly tonight. So that's the result, 24% uh, from the floor. You know, Denise played all man this game, which is what I would rather have her do, because I think their zone is just so airtight, and if you don't shoot well, you struggle. And with our bigs, at least it gives us a chance to score inside. Um, you know, we, we've been able to stay with them step for step in the first half of both games, and, and then in the second half, it would get away from us in the last 10 minutes. But we just didn't score. We missed, I think, 10 layups in the first half. If, you know, we hit a couple of those, you know, and you start missing easy shots, and, and I think defensively, we first five minutes, we came out and we played hard, and then our defense just started to um, – we just weren't playing as hard. We were giving up easier shots. The corners were wide open. And they, once they get in a rhythm and they start hitting shots, the barrage begins. And everybody knows that. So um, we just didn't make shots in the first half. And we've been able to, um, playing them the last two times, keep the score somewhere in the 20s and, and um, stay with them. But obviously didn't do that tonight. What do we have, 11 at the half? Yeah. We had 10 less and they had 10 more than the last two games. So. She sprained her ankle pretty badly uh, the day we left. So, was, yeah, our trainer did a fantastic job even getting her out on the court tonight. So she's done rehab for the last 48 hours. So I was pleased that she even played, which was good. Um, so she wanted to play, which, which I was pleased to see. So not herself, but still out there and trying. So that was nice to see. Yeah. Rebounding drills, land on somebody's foot, boom. You know, they, you know my, our five seniors are just really cool kids, and, and um, you know they've been through a lot while they're here, a lot of close losses, and you know some some great wins. Um, they're just great people, and and you know they were the ones on senior night. They all said, you know, as much as the season's been really hard, it's been the most enjoyable season I've ever had, because they're just a big the cliche, but they are just a big family, and our kids get along incredibly well. They really enjoy each other, and. You know, they've all become better players and they've all become great people um, than they were before they got here, but i um, just proud of who they are. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for them that it ended this way because they didn't deserve this. And, um, but their journey has been a lot of fun. They've been fun to be around. It really, for me, has been one of my most enjoyable seasons as a coach. And our staff will say the same thing. We've, we've enjoyed being with them and they've done a really good job with the younger kids on this team. So I hope they can take a little bit of that with them. Um, I think they'll be ready for a lot of things in life when they have a little adversity. I think they'll be really re ready to handle it. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.